Dear students, welcome to Bioratna. I am Chandana Sin Gupta. Today we are going to discuss two classes, class chondrichthys and class osteichthys under the superclass Pisces. Pisces means those which have fins for locomotion, not limbs. They have fins for locomotion. These chondrichthys, they are cartilaginous fishes. Whereas these osteichthys, they are the bony fishes. There are many differences between these chondrichthys and osteichthys. Like they have difference in their mouth, the position of the mouth. Then the gill slits and the operculum. What is gill slit? What is operculum? Do both of them have gill slits and operculum? Or one has gill slit, other has operculum. Then the scales. You know that the body of fishes are covered with scales. But is the scale present in this chondrichthys as well as osteichthys? Are all the scales of the same type or there is difference in the scales? Then there is difference between their tail also. There are many more differences and we will take up all of them one by one. If this is a cartilaginous fish, then the mouth should be here, but no. In case of cartilaginous fish, this mouth is ventral. Niche ke side mein hai bachcho. So, this mouth is present here. This is the position of mouth. Here the eye is present. One by one, we will take the different points and go on drawing it. Here when you see the bony fish, then what you see? Here the mouth is terminal. So, here you see, this is the mouth, this mouth it is ventral in position, whereas here this is the mouth and the mouth is terminal in position. This is one difference. Come to the next that is the presence of gill slits or operculum. Gill slits. First, let me draw here the gill slits, one, two, three, four, this. here we will show operculum. Here the gill slits are present, but operculum is not present. Here the operculum is present, that does not mean that below the operculum, the gill slits are present. For that, you should understand what is gill slits and what is operculum. These two, they respire by means of gills. So, in their body, mein, yaha, andar mein, gills hai. These gills, they are richly supplied with blood vessels and that blood is carrying the carbon dioxide. So, here continuously, mouth se hote huye, water enter karta hai bacho. So, the water is entering. It is passing over these gills. So, this water has to move out of the body also. Na? That's why here in case of this cartilaginous fishes, this cartilaginous fishes, what happens? Ye in ke body mein, yaha skin ke upar cuts hai. There are gill slits there, jahan se hote huye paani bahar nikalta hai. Whereas in case of these osteichthys or bony fishes, these gill slits, gill slits hai hi is liye ki paani bahar se nikle. Yaha ye operculum, this is just a lead, just a cover. But to ye agar gills hai, iske upar mein ye aisi ek cover hai. And this cover, it is not attached. This side it is attached to the body. This side it is open. Those of you who eat fish, they uh, should be familiar with it. Ki is dhakkan ko, this lid you can 
फोल्ड इट बैकवर्ड ये ऐसे करोगे अंदर में आपको गिल्स दिखाई देते हैं सो दिस ओपनिंग इज ऑलवेज देयर यहाँ से ये ओपन है बॉडी से अटैच नहीं है तो यहाँ से होते हुए कंटिन्यूसली पानी बाहर आता है सो हियर गिल्स लीड्स आर प्रेजेंट एंड हियर ऑपरक्यूलम इज प्रेजेंट दिस इज एनदर डिफरेंस थर्ड कम टू दिस केल्स दिस केल्स Let us see. In cartilaginous fishes, it is placoid scale. In case of osteichthys, it is cycloid or tenoid scale. So the names. Let me write here. This is placoid, then cycloid, and tenoid. This placoid is present in cartilaginous fish, and cycloid and tenoid is present in bony fish. Fine. you can remember it like the cartilaginous fish is having one c so it said i don't want any more c's so baki jo do c hai cycloid and tenoid they have gone to the bony fishes kya difference hai inke structure mein placoid which is present in this in them you always find a central spine this is the spine and there is this basal plate this is the basal plate these scales the placoid scales which are present in cartilaginous fishes they do not overlap each other wo is tarah se aise arrange honge ki wo ek dusre pe overlap nahi karenge that's why they give just even you feel it you get the sandy feeling You can feel the placoid scales and it gives you a sandy feeling. लेकिन ये यहाँ पे जैसे एकदम prominent से एक दूसरे के ऊपर ऐसे overlap करते हुए scales आपको दिखते हैं bony fishes में वैसे आपको cartilaginous fishes में नहीं दिखते हैं So this is one more difference, the difference in the scale. तो ये scale जो है cycloid and tenoid, how are they? The cycloid scale this is more or less circular in its outline and then it is having this many concentric rings you can find over there these are the annual rings these are annual rings what is annual ring one ring is formed in one year that means by simply counting the rings you can tell the age of the fish so this is annual ring and this one this 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 point it is nucleus this is the point from where the ring starts forming the first ring and then the second third fourth like that so this one is the cycloid scale this is cycloid cycloid scale and the tenoid the tenoid it is also mostly like cycloid it is also also mostly uh, this circular but one difference is this that they have one free serrated ma margin they have one this free serrated margin over there and the annual rings are also there annual rings to hai hi इसमें भी है एनुअल रिंग्स आर देयर सो दिस इज द टीनोइड स्केल दिस इज साइक्लॉइड स्केल दिस साइक्लॉइड एंड टीनोइड दे आर प्रेजेंट इन केस ऑफ बोनिफिशर्स नाउ कम टू द डिफरेंस इन टेल ओके फाइन लेट अस सी डिफरेंस इन टेल द टेल ऑफ दिस बोनिफिशर्स यू कैन सी दैट बोथ द लोब्स ऑफ द कॉर्डल फिंस दे आर सिमेट्रिकल सेम है ऊपर जितना है नीचे उतना ही है सो दिस इज कॉल्ड होमो सर्कल टेल दिस इज कॉल्ड होमो सर्कल टेल वेयर एज इन केस ऑफ दिस कॉन्ड्रिक्ट इज वॉट यू विल फाइंड दिस वन इज द टू पार्ट दे आर नॉट सिमिलर हियर एंड This is called heterocircle tail. This is heterocircle tail. 
so this is having heterocircal tail whereas bony fishes they have homocircal tail now come to their fins first you should know the different types of fins which are present in the cartilaginous and bony fishes the fins they are of two types one is paired fin and another is unpaired fin paired fin and unpaired fin paired fin are of two types they are of two types and unpaired fins they are of three types i repeat they have two types of fins two are paired and three types they are unpaired what are the paired fins one is pectoral here see this is the pectoral fin one is from this side that means another is from the other side is also there then this is the this is pectoral pectoral our this part here our pectoral girdle is there to which our limbs are attached this is the pectoral part and the lower abdominal region where the pelvic girdle is present to which our legs are attached that is the pelvic region here so the pectoral it is the anterior one now here there is the another ter fin that is this is the pelvic fin then there is ventral or anal fin ventral or anal fin pectoral fin and pelvic fin these two are paired fins ye is taraf se bhi hai to us taraf se bhi hai whereas this one this one is unpaired ye ek pura single fin hai and here, here you will find one dorsal fin this is dorsal fin number 1 and here you will find another dorsal fin so this and this they are the dorsal fin this one pectoral and this pelvic this is paired fin and this caudal then the ventral or anal fin and the dorsal fin these three are unpaired so which are unpaired unpaired are caudal dorsal and ventral these three are these three they are the unpaired ones and the paired are pectoral and pelvic let us show this fins here also here the pectoral fin this is present here this is one pectoral from the other side also there is another one then this is pelvic these two are this pectoral and this pelvic fin these two are paired ye do ho gaye aapke paired fins here at the top here this is the dorsal fin which is unpaired and here there is one ventral fin or anal fin this is anal or ventral fin and this is the caudal fin so this caudal fin anal fin and dorsal fin dorsal ventral and this caudal these three they are the unpaired fins and the pectoral and pelvic they are the paired fins to the pelvic fin of the cartilaginous fishes in male claspers are present what are claspers they are the organs by which the male holds the female during the copulation that means fertilization is internal in case of cartilaginous fishes in case of bony fishes no claspers are present in male because fertilization is external bony fishes are oviparous they lay eggs so male do not have any claspers in case of bony fishes this all you have learned now we can take up the different characters of these two groups let us see the characters of cartilaginous fishes many of which you know now so when you write down the cartilaginous fish characters what are they first is they are marine organisms 
Second, their body is streamlined. The fish is to avoid the resistance from water. They are swimming in water. Na? The birds also. To avoid the resistance from air, their body is streamlined. So, their body is elongated and streamlined. What about their mouth? Mouth you already know. See here, mouth is ventral. Mouth is ventral and the teeth, they are modified placoid scales. They are modified placoid scales and they are backwardly directed. Backwardly directed. This is also one of their weapon. This backwardly directed teeth. How? Just see these are your fingers. If you let it point backwards, then with the help of this teeth, when it holds its prey, prey agar khud ko chudana chahta hai, jitna wo chudana chahega, utna is backwardly directed teeth ki wajah se, wo aur bhi jada usme entangled ho jata hai. So teeth, they are modified placoid scales which are backwardly directed. Now recall that uh, these chondrichthys, these cartilaginous fishes, they are vertebrates, but notochord has not yet disintegrated. So notochord reh jata hai, puri zindagi bhar hi reh jata hai. Notochord is persistent. Notochord is persistent, but now the vertebral column has formed. And the cranium and the vertebral column both are cartilaginous. So this cranium and vertebral column they are cartilaginous another character about them these fins you know this they are having this heterocircle tail and they are having two paired fins and three unpaired fins one very important thing is the gills gills and gill slits they have five to seven pairs of gills seven pairs of gills cartilaginous fishes and they have and they have gill slits also here it is scolyodon scolyodon is also called dogfish dogfish is it has strong sense of smell like a dog that's why it is called dogfish and this scolyodon it is found in indian sea coasts scolyodon so it is Indian shark also called Indian shark. This is dogfish. Its gills, gill slits you are seeing here. That means it is having no operculum. I told you, jiske paas operculum rahega, uske paas gill slits nahi rahenge. Jiske paas gill slits rahenge, uske paas operculum nahi rahega. Both are having the same function. So that through them, the water can move outwards. Come to one point that why these fish they need to uh, why these fishes they need to swim continuously throughout the day the whole day they have to swim because they lack air bladder so for buoyancy they have to continuously see, swim otherwise they will drop down what else? These chondrichthys, they come under the division gnathostomata. Gnathostomata means those which have the jaw. They have and these cartilaginous fishes, their jaw is very powerful. So their jaw, it is very powerful and because of this powerful jaw, they are great predators. Their body has these placoid scales that we have already seen. What about their heart? Their heart is two chambered. When there are two chambers, there is always one auricle and one ventricle. Never two auricles or two ventricles. Why? Auricle is that part where the heart is receiving the blood. Receive kar rahe. 
and ventricle is that part which receives blood from auricle is receiving blood from throughout the body whereas ventricle is receiving from the auricle and then it pumps it तो वेंट्रिकल के जो वॉल्स है वो बहुत जोर से कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करते हैं फिर उसका ब्लड जो है दूर तक जाए वेर एज ऑरिकल इज रिसीविंग इट देन इट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड इट सेंड्स द ब्लड टू द वेंट्रिकल सो इट मस्ट हैव एट लीस्ट वन ऑरिकल एंड वन वेंट्रिकल सो वेन इट इज टू चेम्बर्ड सो इट हैज वन ऑरिकल एंड वन वेंट्रिकल one more thing this heart is it is a venous heart what do we mean by venous heart venous heart means heart me sirf impure blood hi aata hai bachcho pure blood aata hi nahi hai heart me in the fishes heart only impure blood comes from all over the body it comes into auricle then it goes into the ventricle then ventricle sends it to gills and there it gets purified and then it directly moves to the different body parts and when it gets deoxygenated then that deoxygenated blood is sent to the heart for purification that's why heart is getting only impure blood so it is called venous heart this is the meaning of venous heart the heart receiving only and only impure blood and then they are cold blooded cold blooded the scientific word for it is poikilothermic they are poikilothermic fine ab in me se kuch kuch fish hai cartilaginous for example this uh, torpedo ये आपको 30 से 50 वोल्ट तक का शॉक दे सकता है इलेक्ट्रिक शॉक दे सकता है सो दिस इज कॉल्ड इलेक्ट्रिक रे दिस इज इलेक्ट्रिक रे टॉर्पिडो देन देर इज ट्राइगॉन दिस इज कॉल्ड स्टिंग रे इट स्टिंग दिस इज स्टिंग रे टॉर्पिडो और इलेक्ट्रिक रे एंड ट्राइगॉन और स्टिंग रे फाइन what about their reproduction they are dioecious sexes separate hai males they have claspers in their pelvic fin pelvic fin mein claspers hote hain jiski madad se wo female ko hold karta hai they are dioecious males have claspers males have claspers where in the pelvic fin then the fertilization is internal fertilization is internal and they are oviparous oviparous many of them are oviparous means they give birth to the young ones fishes giving birth to young ones your idea must be that fishes give uh, lay only eggs that is in case of bony fishes the examples let us see few examples of this cartilaginous fishes some we have already discussed one is the scoliodon then the electric ray that is torpedo then the sting ray that is trigon then the carcharodon that is great white shark and then the sawfish it is called pristis pristis so this write the common names scoliodon it is also called dog fish you know why because they have a very strong sense of smell torpedo this is the electric ray electric ray which can give a shock of about 50 volts then trigon this is a sting ray then carcharodon this is great white shark this is great white shark and pristis is sawfish why it is called sawfish its diagram is also given in your ncert 
This is the sawfish. At its anterior part, it is extended as a saw. This is a saw-like structure. Saw-like structure in which laterally present these are the teeth which can cut. This acts like a saw. Then this is the dorsal view. That's why here you can see one dorsal fin. This is another second dorsal fin. Then the pectoral fins. This is this side and this side both can be seen. Then this is the pelvic fin also. Pelvic fin paired pectoral fin. Pectoral fin, pelvic fin, dorsal fin, bacha con caudal fin, which is heterocircle. This is the heterocircle caudal fin. Fine. This is the diagram of priestess. This was interesting, wasn't it? Now let us move to bony fishes. The bony fishes, also called this osteichthys. The bony fishes. What are their characters? They may be freshwater, they may be marine. Chondrichthys, they were marine in their habitat. Here, freshwater and marine. Both examples also we will be seeing. Then their body is streamlined. That has to be to swim in the waves. Then the mouth is terminal. Let us draw the diagram. This is its mouth, then the eye, then operculum and the scales. The scales will be present all over the body and mouth is terminal then it has four pairs of gills it has four pairs of gills not gill slits it has four pairs of gills for respiration which is covered by these gills are covered by operculum this is terminal mouth this is the operculum which is covering four pairs of gills. These are the cycloid or tenoid scales. The scales are of cycloid or they may be tenoid. Then what about the fins? The fins, two paired fins are present that is the pectoral fin. This is the pectoral fin which is present here. This is the pectoral, this is the pelvic, this one is caudal, this is ventral or anal fin and here you can see the dorsal fin. This is the dorsal. Which one are unpaired? This dorsal this ventral and this caudal. They are unpaired and as these two lobes are symmetrical, same in size, they may have different types of shape but they are mostly symmetrical. That's why this is homocircle tail. So we see that the, their scales are cycloid or tenoid and the fins are present. Fins are present. Then Air bladder is also present here. The air bladder, it is present in case of bony fishes. Heart is two chambered, that is one is auricle, one is ventricle and heart is venous of course. As they are vertebrates, they are vertebrates, so vertebral column is present in them. Notochord is now replaced. This its cranium and vertebral column, cranium and vertebral column, it is bony. That's why they are called 
bony fishes. This is a very important point in case of bony fishes. When we come to their reproduction, they are dioecious, means male and female are separate, but the fertilization is external. Fertilization is external, so no presence of claspers in case of males. They are oviparous. They are oviparous, that means they lay eggs and the development is direct. In their case, the development is direct. Now, the different examples of bony fishes. As you know, that these bony fishes, they are found in marine habitat as well as freshwater habitat. If we take marine example, one is Exocetus. Exocetus, it is also called flying fish. Of course, it, is, it does not fly in the air. It has very large uh, pectoral fins. Suppose this is the fish. Na? Here itself I can draw. Uh, this is the fish. Then these pectoral fins, they are very large. This side, this pectoral fins, this another one. So they act like wings. But of course it is not flying in the air. From the water level, it comes out, takes a very means long jump, covers a very long distance and goes into the water again, then again comes out and takes a jump. So when you look at it, you feel like that fish is flying. So this is Exocetus or flying fish. Another marine is Hippocampus. Hippocampus, this Hippocampus diagram is there. Na? So it has this snout and then this its face, then this body, here at the back of the eyes, I have drawn a ear like structure, this is its pectoral fin, this is its pectoral fin, here it is the dorsal fin. Other fins are absent. What other fins? Pelvic fin, it is absent. Dorsal fin is unpaired fin. Dusre unpaired kon se the? Caudal and ventral. They are also absent. And here there is a brood pouch where the female lays the eggs. So parental care is taken by this male. Papa hippocampus. Its face resembles horse. That's why it is called hippocampus. Now, if you see the freshwater examples, these freshwater examples, these fishes are edible fishes. What are these fishes? One is Labio, Labio Rohita, that is Rohu, Rohu Machli, this is Labio Rohita. Then one is Katla Katla, that is common name is also Katla. Then there is Clarius. Clarius is called Magur. This is Magur. And then the aquarium fishes. This aquarium fishes, two examples are there. This aquarium fish, one is Betta. Betta fish or this is called fighting fish. G-H-T-I-N-G. This is called fighting fish, Betta. Bettas are fighting and another is pterophyllum. Pterophyllum it is angelfish. Pterophyllum is angelfish. Angelfish and fighting fish. So this is about the bony fishes. I hope that now all the points of chondrichthys and osteichthys are clear to you. So please take care. Study well. See you in the next lecture that is about the class Amphibia. Hopefully you have liked the video. Then please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get all latest updates.